Thank you to Two Before for sponsoring this episode of the Running Thrill podcast. I'm excited to introduce you to Two Before, which is a sports performance superfood made from one of my favorite flavors, the blackcurrant. This is New Zealand blackcurrant. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. This berry is going to help you perform better and recover faster by optimizing blood flow efficiency, priming your body to manage exercise induced stress, something we could all use and uh, appreciate. Now, this is the result of over 10 years of research and development. Uh, Two before products are here to enhance your pre-workout nutrition. I have been using it for the last few months, really loving getting to know these products, getting to use them before my workouts. I have really been enjoying the blackcurrant flavor. That is something in England we had a lot. They contain unique levels of antioxidants that have been proven to increase athletic performance and speed up recovery, which can only help us. They have these caffeine and caffeine-free formulas. It's uh, it's clean. It's not got any crash energy. I love to use it uh, with four to eight ounces of water. Uh, you can either mix it with other drinks and that is absolutely fine. I drink it about half an hour before my workout and it actually helps me to feel better during my workout. So whether I'm feeling fatigued from just life in general or everything that's going on, I am enjoying being able to use this. Now, as a friend of mine, when you buy a 20 pack of two before at two before.com and you use code Tina, you can get not only 30% off, 30% off, uh, but you also can get free shipping by using code Tina at two before.com. That's the number two before.com two before.com use code Tina to get yourself 30% off and free shipping. If you have some performance goals in the coming months, this is what you need to be using. It tastes great. It's great for your performance and it is a great superfood to just give your body the gift of health. Ready? You want to ask the last one? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Please, please, please don't pick an <laughs> elephant. <laughs> oh, man. Sarah, when you were reading your last question, I was just still skimming the other questions on the list. Mm -hmm. And one I saw, and I just couldn't stop laughing. And I was like, okay, compartmentalize, <laughs> Tina. But then I kept thinking of it, and you were trying to talk, and I was like, get back on track but I kept nearly laughing and I felt like you were about to be like Tina what are you laughing at like notice. I haven't got to the question yet one of these questions on the list that you copy and pasted is are you gonna <laughs> ask it how do you <laughs> how do you think the world would be if bananas were illegal <laughs> this is not the question but that was one that made me laugh I was like what how did that even end up as a question what? so I'm not gonna do that one but like that is a legitimate question that on our list. So, how do you think the world would be if bananas were illegal? <laughs> oh my gosh! Who even thought? Who even conceptualized? <laughs> oh, that is so ridiculous! Oh my god! So I'm not going to have that one because I can't even understand what that no. means. But I am going to ask one that's probably going to make you revved up with a story, which is what's what is one recent trend you can't stand. Is that the one you're going to ask next? Yeah, that no, that's what you're going to answer now. Wait, oh, are we recording right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize we had started. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm trying to think of like <laughs> trends right now that I don't like. Can you go first? I can't even think. I don't even, I'm so out of touch with like what mm. people are doing because I have children that like, I can't even mm. think of like what are current trends. I mean, I've never, I've I mean, never been a, oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I don't know, like, trends as in, like, you know, I, I, I mean, I've noticed that all the teenagers wear a sh pair of shorts that seem to be too short, too small for them, hiked up really high, and wear, like, a short top that just about meet, meets the top of their very high-waisted, but not meant to be high-waisted shorts. Um, I've noticed that as a trend, mm. but that doesn't bother me. Um but what came to mind for me is the Instagram videos where people do the like, and they like point to the word oh and then they point gosh. the other way and then they no. point the other way. And I just like, ugh, like, I just, <laughs> I just don't like that. Um, there's a lot of things I see on Instagram that um, are trends. And I just like right now that, that 
Makiba, Makiba. Yeah. song you've probably seen it like yeah. can i get a ooh that is everywhere yeah and that i actually quite like that rhythm but like there's a lot of instagram trends that i'm like this is getting ridiculous like that mac maki maki carb or whatever that song is called is lit i see it i cannot go a day without seeing it three yeah. or four times there are there are some instagram trends that i absolutely love that i've been seeing of like and this one's been around for a couple months of like what i don't what was that movie that nick cage just did but anyway the meme is like him and that other guy in the car so i love like memes like that on instagram i love i could look at those all day long um but yeah anything that is yeah like the instagram trends that kind of like sweep and everybody does them i am just not a big believer in having well like i hardly use social media anyway but in having my content dictated by mob mentality like i'm just very much not like i'm gonna do this because everybody's doing it that's just not not the way i think um Mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of like fashion wise there was one that i absolutely hated was when it seems like so many girls were like shaving just this like part above their ear Mm -hmm. do you know what i'm talking about it was like the girls would shave like a big strip of hair so both of my sisters so i went to college you know back in like 2010 me and you um, we're in college at around the same time, 20, 2007. Oh my gosh, it was so long ago. Um, <laughs> but my sisters, both of my sisters, my younger and older, they went back to college like 10 years later, both went division two. So they were qualifying for like track nationals. So at the end of one track nationals, they both had a little too much to drink. They were of age people, relax. They both had a little too much to drink and they shaved each other's side of their head. Oh, and so no. I got a picture that night after they both like run the 3k or something indoors and they are just like staring at each other laughing as hard as they can and they had both shaved each other's head and i was like that is gonna take years to grow out because the problem Uh is it's like it grows out and then it's like two inches long what do you do with that so it looks so terrible and they were like trying to like twist it and bobby pin it and i was like you shouldn't have done (laughs) it like i don't feel bad for you you brought this on yourself in one night you're like what a good idea like things like that just drive me crazy i'm like just think through your actions (laughs) yes yes no i i don't yeah i don't i'm trying to think that is probably shaving your head is probably something or shaving something on you like on your head is something probably quite a lot of people do while they're drinking that mm. is one of the worst decisions you could make yeah it's just because, it's just yeah, such a like almost can permanent eyebrow, thing whatever. to do yeah yes. yeah yes it's just- for sure I've I've never done anything like I mean I've dyed my hair like a couple times but like I have never never done anything extreme but it's like the the way that trends like come and go it's like if all of a sudden like all these Instagram influencers were shaving one eyebrow you'd see people walking around with one eyebrow oh, yeah, shaved you're like sure. they don't care that they look ridiculous and it just drives me crazy. Gage- it's the Mean Girls thing, right? With the with the hose. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> If you wear something with enough, enough confidence, I guess people will copy you. Um, but yeah, it does. It's just so silly because like we can look back with with you know time on our side at like the eighties and the nineties, like the crazy spandex years, and then the like yeah, the whitewashed jeans and stuff. They look ridiculous in retrospect, but when you live th- through things like in the early two thousands, I didn't. You, you don't you don't really notice trends when you're in them, right? It's just like, yeah, oh, this is yeah. just how I dress. This is just how I um and even then, like I heard the other day this actor was talking about how the American accent has changed throughout mm-hmm. from like 1930 till now, like every decade, how like Americans, even from the different like if someone who lives in Chicago for a hundred years will have noticed like the Chicago accent will have changed over time. Like we're just such lemmings so like we as people mm-hmm. were like a enormous flock of birds that like somebody turns and we all just go that way <laughs> you know yeah. it's crazy it's crazy but we often don't recognize it like in the 2000s like looking back now and you're like oh my gosh everybody's eyebrows were like just tiny pencil lines on their head and like we didn't <laughs> care you know when i think of my uh high school friends quite often we send um they send instagram videos of uh mm. again instagram reels of people being like this was me in uh 2002 and it'd be you know like uh, we would wear these really thick belts like over our shirts like just you know on our chests Mm -hmm. and that was like one of the trends and it was like a denim skirt with it and uh yeah you look back on that and you're like (laughs) what was I doing um and I remember my sister and I saying that with my parents like what did you dress us in when we were children like why were we wearing that and my mom would be like it was the fashion at the time, okay? <laughs> but like, 
why would you why would we wear that though oh, and, uh, but man. yeah you, like you said you just don't understand no um and like my dad, my think- dad i remember seeing a picture from my dad standing beside like his corvette in the 70s and my dad who is very white had a full-blown afro and bell bottoms and you're just like yeah. you look like a clown like what are you thinking? <laughs> but at the time like he was like i was so cool i was so cool people came to my parties <laughs> you're just like, oh my gosh. yeah there's probably going to be some things that we do now that our kids are going to be like that was that's really embarrassing i don't know about um, you though but i do it on purpose like charlotte has these like bright red polka dot i, I love dressing her in ridiculous clothes i think it's amazing uh-huh. when she looks like uh-huh. so silly um but yeah, she may not like that when she's older. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to get away with it while you can, because Bailey is definitely at the age where occasionally she'll be like, "Mummy, you can pick my clothes." But for the most part, it's now that that tight that ship has sailed. Um, Sarah, we didn't we didn't have specific trends. I don't know. The only thing that's coming to mind for me is like those pop pin things that are everywhere. You know, like the things that kids play with. Like oh, you pop yeah. one side. Those that's a kids' trend. But I don't know what the rest is. Um, beyond that, I, yeah, my kids don't really get engaged, and sometimes the other kids in the street will be saying about something, and I'm like, "What is that?" And they're like, "Oh, everyone has one." Yeah, well, yeah. We or even like so. the words that they're said. Like, there's times like I remember, like I was just literally just grocery shop- shopping, and two teenage girls walked past me. I was like, I did not understand like a word they just said. Did they say like slays or slaps? Those oh, are, I think the yeah, two words. Like something totally <laughs> slapped. You're like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, no. So that's that's it's like sla- and I understand like they're gonna talk like that. But there's a day coming, Tina, when both of our kids are gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, mom, you're just so uncool. You don't even know what that means." <laughs> like that's gonna happen, and that's that's gonna be embarrassing. You just realize, yeah, really. like, as you get older, like how your parents they were so <laughs> right about so many things, and you're thought yes. like oh, they don't know anything, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so true. Well, thank you for this one. Uh, another for real aside, we would love to hear yours. Any any fads, trends that you can't stand or what you want to share with us. We appreciate you. Thank you, Sarah. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.